I've said this before, but you know, the, the DAO space, I don't think anyone who's creating a DAO or part of a DAO should think that this is a, you know, a free pass from regulation or enforcement. And that's just the bottom line. Um, this is a very unique technology that um, uh, is being driven by the moment of the day and the fact that we have technology that enables a potentially decentralized entity or organization does not mean it's gonna be free from some sort of regulatory framework at the state or federal level. Uh, and I would encourage those who are in the audience to take a moment and look at this, this case that Chris brings up. It's on our website, it's available, it's quite public information at this point, but um, it was hardly decentralized. Um, there were a few individuals who were very much at the center of establishing the protocol, I think that's the right way to frame it. Um, and it was just clear fraud, right? And not only was there a statement to suggest that we structured this in a way to avoid and evade CFTC regulation, but there was a solicitation of retail customers for leveraged derivatives um, and, and on a trading platform or something that, you know, essentially mimicked or looked very much like a, a trading platform. So um, these cases where, uh, and this is, I think, an extreme where it's so egregious and so obvious that um, we would, be essentially objectively failing to do our job if we didn't bring this case. Um, you know, things are uh, a facts and circumstances matter as they are in litigation and enforcement. Uh, but in this particular matter, I think it was pretty clear that a few individuals um, were clearly trying to evade our rules, understanding the scope of them, um, and, and to offer contracts that were are regulated by our, our statute and our rules. To retail, to retail customers. So going back to what I said earlier, yes, this technology is new, it's unique, it is not traditional in the sense of what our statute intends or expects or the rules behind the statute, but um, I would say for anyone out there who's participating or who's creating or innovating, um, you know, don't expect this to be a free pass.